Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a project that I'd covered about two years ago called The Imaginary Ones, and I really just wanted to share with you some of the updates and developments and execution of the roadmap and partnership and uh, upcoming upcoming things that I, I think you might be interested in. So without wasting much more time, I'm going to get right into it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just talk about one of the first partnerships that they had made, and that was with a Web2 clothing company, Hugo, from Hugo Boss. And uh, it was really neat. They, they gave Hugo, or, or Hugo and IO had a collaboration. There were 500 spots available for IO holders to basically participate, and I think it came through like whitelist and um, games, and I think there were like winnings from like social medias and different participations to be able to get yourself in that allow list. And it might might have been like one of the staking rewards as well um, for your uh, IO staking. So. Um, Without wasting much more time, I'm going to kind of just jump right into it. And this collection was one of the things that had sprung off um, from Hugo's first launch with IO. And there, there was uh, basically these different emotions, and there were different shirts that had uh, had all of these different emotions on there. And we'll go ahead and just kind of backtrack slightly into a little slideshow that I have here. So. Um, if I can get this thing playing right, here we go. So there were 500 pieces of of these shirts, and there were like a hundred of each emotion, I believe. And um, they minted out pretty fast. So you basically you came in, you bought one of these shirts, you you received a capsule, which allowed you to mint one of these. Um, one of these Hugo IOs. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this slide run here, and I just kind of want to show you a few of the different things that Hugo has given for holders, or some of the opportunities that um, holders have had. So this is one of the five shirts. Uh, this was the sadness, and this is the one that I had received, and this was the Hugo IO that I had minted personally here. Uh, I believe this one was uh, sadness or fear or something. This was another merch opportunity that we had that came at a really severe discount. I mean, it like cost like three dollars for a sweatshirt and a and a hat. Here was another opportunity. There was a belt bag or a fanny pack, rather. Uh, this also came with a fidgetal piece, which came with the redemption code, which you could redeem in the Bubble Rangers game, which I'm also going to be talking about. Uh, there is another thing that is coming up here, which we're going to go ahead and just hop right into that as well. So we'll get out of that. We'll come right into here. And this is another merch drop. Um, this thing right here is one of the Hugo Blues uh, new clothing lines that's coming up here. And it's going to be dropping soon. And holders, I think they're, I don't remember the exact number. There could have been maybe a thousand or close to a thousand of these only and uh, these are going to be claimable coming up here pretty soon uh, there was a deposit that had happened and basically these jackets cost 350 US dollars but you receive a jacket you receive a phys fidgetal jacket which is also redeemable in Roblox so Hugo had partnered with Roblox and uh, that was just another big announcement here recently. So there's like some, been some interactive things happening on on the their metaverse side of things in their partnership with Hugo and or with IO. Um, so you 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 paid this 350 US dollars. You get this fidgetal jacket. You also get an allocation or an airdrop of 350 dollars worth of this bubble token that I'm going to be talking about here pretty soon. Um, about 30 days, I believe, after the token generation event happens. Um, I don't know if there's... Uh, the claim for the jacket itself has been pushed back until May 17th, I believe. Um, so there's still some time. There's no more available. Uh, I think you're only going to be able to buy these secondhand if you want any of these patches or any of that kind of stuff on there. Um, so jumping right into some of their partnerships also that they have developed are with Samsung. That was another big one here recently. There was a partnership with Portal just announced. Um, 
Mocha Brands, Mocha, Mochaverse. I think there's a partnership with them that was just announced here maybe today or uh, yesterday. Um, there was a, There's a partnership with the exchange OKX, and I believe that there's going to be several more of these partnerships um, and exchanges coming up here pretty soon. There is a bunch of seed um, venture capitalists that they have basically just closed their their funding round and they're over allocated essentially i think that that they turned away a bunch of different venture capitalists for money um io is pivoting um they're obviously an nft brand but they are going to be focusing on um content web content development um merchandising and gaming so they're they're really trying to diversify how they're getting out there for holders benefits so i really appreciate that on their behalf um so yeah just kind of getting back into it here is i believe that these minted for uh, maybe 0.25 eth um they might have all sold out r really fast um i kind of i kind of forget i bet you there's there's information somewhere um on the analytics and, and all that stuff but anyways we'll uh we'll jump out of there we'll see what the uh floor price is doing here for the a genesis collection of io so we're looking pretty healthy this minted out uh, i believe this was 0.2 eth and then there might have been a duck, dutch auction that started at 0.6 but i kind of don't remember if it even made it to dutch auction um i would imagine with some of these bits of news that's coming up here these uh, these prices aren't going to last very long. I mean, it's pretty thin to get to like one and a half ETH even. But anyways, um, so now initially, if you were to have purchased one of these NFTs, you came over to their staking dashboard and you could stake this NFT. And I've had mine staked the whole time. So we've had, uh, I'll just kind of get right into the information. So there were different um, levels that you would achieve along the way. And we might have received something for this. I kind of don't remember, honestly. Um, or maybe it was just like an achievement landmark. You know, you re re reach this point. And actually, I do remember now, um, each one of these um, different explorer that you received for these certain time periods gave you an allocation um, to be able to claim for a whitelist for different NFTs. Um, the the company had bought several different NFTs, like n name brand stuff, like Gojira, and um, uh, uh, there was like other other deeds, and I mean, several different things. I mean, there might uh, might have been an Azuki, I think. I, I really don't remember. There were so many different things, and it's been so long ago. But anyways, um, each different point along along this period, um, you were able to claim some sort of a reward or at least get whitelisted for different projects and that sort of thing. But anyways, um, so another thing that they have executed was the airdropping of the imaginary rides. And each imaginary one's NFT holder received one ride per NFT that you had. So um, being that I also had one of these IO Hugo um crosses i received a second ride um and i think that I, I kind of forget what the floor price is on these i haven't checked uh, maybe 0.11 eth or 0.15 eth or something like that but anyways um there were different quests that you also were able to participate in and uh you're basically reading through and finding out the journey of the io story and the development of the game and that sort of thing the quest of stop so far uh, they will be picking back up at some point, and there are several more opportunities to to claim these chests and that sort of thing. Um, we'll just kind of do a really quick inventory thing here real real fast. Um, I've got a little bit of lag, but see, these are some of the artifacts that you could have claimed for those, um, for those uh, quests there. So it looks like if you had... All of these, um, if you were to stake your NFT, the if you were to stake your, um, well, let's see here, we'll get we'll get into the bubble squad. I'm kind of getting a little sidetracked. If you stake your your NFT for your IO, you had your IO rides and your artifacts. You are able to claim. Let's see, I'm getting 294 of these rainbow bubble per day just for having this one squad formed, and you can form 
many squads. Like if you have two or four or five IOs and you've got several other rides and you've got other artifacts, you can form several different squads. I mean, some people are really, they're really raking in these rainbow bubble per day, but this is, this is where I'm sitting at right now. And that's, that's fine for me. Um, so yes, this bubble airdrop is going to be coming up here. Um, there's a few different ways that you can participate in bubble and bubble is a coin that is going to be powering the ecosystem all across the IO. Um, well, I, I don't know what you want to call it. The whole ecosystem, you know, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So staking gives you these rainbow bubbles, which are going to be able to be converted to bubble at, at, a certain point when the token generation event happens and that's going to be happening shortly so another way that um, you can earn these points is from one of the games that they have developed and it's called bubble rangers and this is one of two games that they've already developed so far so like the first one was like kind of a beta uh, testing phase and that was the bubble rider game and um, then they came out with the bubble rangers which is playable on uh, let's see, you can go get this, you can go get Bubble Rangers at the App Store and Google Play. So this is an endless runner game, and the point of it is to basically run, run through the whole game. You collect as many of these coins or these tokens as possible, and then these tokens will be converted to Bubble later on, which can be exchanged for you know, USD or whatever, or just keep bubble because what's going to be happening with the, with this token, I think that there is going to be several different avenues, um, that are going to raise awareness for this ecosystem, which will definitely drive a little bit more value, um, into these coins. So, so yeah, um, staking, playing this video game, and then there's now, uh, social harvesting, basically, uh, social farming, and um, what's kind of neat, they developed this page where you can link your game. So this this game is where I'm what I'm playing. I've got two million of these coins that I've collected so far, and um, that links into this page. So there's a f social thing where you basically sign on, um, and then you follow, like, retweet. Uh, you basically try to spread awareness to to get out there. And you can see the different amounts of social points that you can gain just by doing these simple tasks. Um, so this is another way to keep the community engaged. Uh, it's a way to give give back to the community. Um, let's see here. There are different, uh, different tiers that you can reach that give you different bonuses once you get to these certain phases. And, I mean, it's just a really great value creation for the holders and for the company itself. I mean... I don't see this company fading out anytime soon with how much that they, they have developed so far. Um, another one of the things that they've executed was Imaginary Junior. I mean, we've got a bunch of videos for children. They're, they're a bunch of like educational children videos. Um, so their reach is expanding further than just NFTs, which is really great if you really want to reach, reach people. Um, one of the really interesting um spaces on x recently here is is well worth your listen it's a little bit long um i think it's about an hour and a half or an hour yeah about an hour and 24 minutes i will put a link in the description to that it, it's definitely well worth the listen it talks about just the execution the timeline what they're trying to do with the bubble token itself and the ecosystem that they're creating um and yeah, it, it was really it was really nice to see what they're trying to do. I mean, because they could just create a token launch with you know one or two exchanges, and you know have a couple exchanges come online. But I think they're really trying to line everything up. You know, just have have all the ducks in a row, and really create that you know the god candle they call it. You know, that first 15 minute candle. Um, it's really explosive at that point, but I think with all the people that are backing it, the venture capitalists and that sort of thing, I, I think that this company is in it for the long run. I, I think that we're really going to see them around for you know the next five, maybe ten years um, with the different partnerships that they're developing. I, I think that uh, this is a real gem here, 
it's a, it's a real hidden gem. But anyways, I'm not going to keep this video going any longer. I've already been long and windy about this. I just really wanted to share some of the updates and the roadmap execution and uh, some more things that we have look, looking forward to or just some more games coming out here, um, more, more interactions. Uh, so just keep your ear to the ground and, um, you know, just... Just check back occasionally on the channel, and I might have another video for you telling you a little bit more. But anyways, hey, thanks for thanks for taking your time and listening to this. Uh, I really appreciate it. All, all of the video um, views and subscribes help. So, all right, thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next video.